In this video, I'll show you how to create a free gift based on a customer's purchase on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. For example, here we've got this awesome book product and we've created a rule in the back end which says that whenever someone purchases this particular book, we'll give them some free swag, okay? And that particular swag being this hat here, which is usually $25, right? But if they purchase this awesome book product, then we'll give them the hat for free, okay? So let's go ahead and test this out. Let's add this to our basket. Okay, and then here we can see the awesome book has been added, but we've automatically added the my awesome hat to the basket as well. And we can go ahead and test this out. So here we're purchasing a book and we're getting this hat for free. So the customer can go ahead and proceed to the checkout. Okay. Okay, and then they can complete their order. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin for WooCommerce. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you downloaded the AOVUP checkout, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Okay, so once you've done so, we'll create the product that we want as our free gift. Okay, so let's head over to products and then all products. If you've already got a product in which you want to use as your free gift, then you can skip this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a free gift item to accompany our awesome book product. Okay, so with this out of the way, we'll go ahead and configure our free gift now. So we'll head over to AIO checkout for all in one at checkout. And then we'll go ahead and click on campaigns Then we'll add a new campaign. And then here we can just name it whatever we want. It's just for internal purposes. So I'm just going to say free gift. And for the type, I'm just going to leave it as order bump. Let's hit add offer. All right, so now we'll add the product in which we want to use as our free gift. So we'll say awesome hat and then we'll add this product okay so this is added fine so now we'll actually give customers so whenever this particular rule trigger we'll give customers this particular product for free so we'll say the percentage discount will be 100 percent, meaning they won't pay anything for it right and for the behavior we'll automatically add this to the customer's order if they qualify for this particular free gift okay so i'll just make sure we hit this here the rule priority we'll set it to one um, design we can skip over this because we're going to automatically add it to the customer's order so we can just head straight to conditions and then for the rule we'll go ahead and select product and then we'll search for the awesome book product okay so well, this is a trigger all right so essentially whenever anyone purchased this my awesome book will automatically add our free gift to their basket as well okay so let's hit save changes and then we'll go ahead and test this out so let's x these off all right so now when we add this particular product to our basket it should automatically add the awesome at product to their basket as well so let's test this out Okay, so that's added fine, but also so is the awesome hat as well. So we can go ahead and view our checkout page. And here we can see we're paying for the My Awesome book, but we're getting the hat for free. And then a customer can just go ahead and check out as normal. Okay. All right, so there's one extra step that we should take. So here it's actually showing our free gift again. So we just need to take one setting, which I forgot to do. Okay, so let's quickly head back over to our dashboard. We'll go on campaigns, then we'll edit the campaign which we just created and we want to make sure we select this option here which says hide this particular order bump if there's already the same product in the basket okay so let's save changes okay and then let's refresh our checkout page okay perfect so that's working exactly as it should okay like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support 